Black Ram 313 back at it again, you know why? It's because this is therapeutic, man. Back again with another video, which means another therapy session. Today's topic and title is when she says she loves you. What does she really mean behind such a statement? Now we know automatically that she can't love like we do. See my video on this subject matter. Uh, in fact, on the uh, at the end of the video, you, you should see it pop up on the screen. Now, from a scientific perspective, we know that biologically, feelings of love are just chemical reactions in the brain. Dopamine, oxytocin, norepinephrine these are the chemicals that set off the reward and pleasure centers of our brain this is natural and it gives a natural chemical high makes you feel euphoric floating on the cloud feelings of love and this of course by its very nature can be very very addictive right and understand that the more exposure to such stimulus, these chemicals in the brain, the high becomes less and less. So through time, this emotion called love that she feels will become less. And she will begin to look for a new relationship, a new love to stimulate those chemicals once again. Therefore, your relationship with her has a built-in and automatic end date. Realize that she doesn't love you, silly man. She loves being in love, the feeling, not the man. How do you know this, Ram? Easy. Because when the feeling is gone, She's gone. She's going to go find someone else, another man who she can experience those emotions afresh. So deflate your ego, buddy. It's not you that she loves. She loves the feeling. Again, her love is for the feeling, not the man, not the person. Now she can associate you with those feelings temporarily but like a tool when you're no longer effective you can be quickly and easily discarded this is why they ride the carousel this is why they're in so many relationships throughout throughout their lifetime when those feelings go which they will she's gonna go but what does she mean? What does the word mean when it comes from her lips? That's what I want to explore today. What does she feel on the inside? What does she believe in her heart? Subjectively, from her point of view, love as seen and defined from her perspective. So I want to look inside her mind and heart to explore her perspective on what she means when she says that she loves you. Now first, for many of us, myself included, but for many of us, we want a woman's respect, love, and adoration. And I, yes, I said that. We want a woman's love. Men, we do want a woman's love. You can fool yourself if you want to. Now I'm not saying every guy. No, 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 no. I'm not saying every guy wants that. But many of us, myself included, we want a woman's love. I personally, I love loving a woman. To me, it's a beautiful thing. It brings about a joy of the soul that's unexplainable. Joy of the soul that only a woman can bring. There are not many joys that can compete with this. I personally love the feeling of holding a woman in my arms closely and tightly 
woman that I care about. And holding her in my arms symbolizes my love and protection of her. I have loved deeply and I do love deeply. I'm a man of deep passion. This is me. This is who I am. I have a deep passion for women. I enjoy experiencing them. I often have emotions toward them. But I don't allow myself to be controlled by that. Just being real. This is therapy. And what is the number one rule in therapy, gentlemen? The number one rule. There is no lying in therapy. This channel, this video is from my mind and heart. Nobody else has to share in this thought per se. It's therapy for me and therapy for some of you. So don't judge me. <laughs> now, having a beautiful woman, man, with a humble and quiet spirit, I want to embrace all that is her, her smile, her laugh. I want to see her happy. I want to enjoy her company. I want to behold her beauty. I want to smell her breath. Again, I know these statements are not for, for every man. I'm a soulful, emotional guy. But of course, as I said before, my goal is to master and manage such emotions. Because if you don't, you can be destroyed by it. So now I want to talk about the two types of female love. Two types. From her perspective. What she says and what she means. Her perspective. What she feels. Not our idea of it. Not our analysis of it. Again, we know that she cannot love richly and deeply and sincerely she doesn't have the same quality quantity type of love that a man has a man's love is similar to the love of the most high she's absent of that she's devoid of that so let me make that disclaimer loud and clear understand that I'm talking about what she means from her own mind heart subjectively when she says it her perception not ours now so keep that in mind so the two types of female love there are two different ones completely but in the same vein let me make this point real quick oftentimes when you love a woman she doesn't necessarily love you you love her and she loves her too so both of you are loving the same person essentially maybe that's what she means by monogamy anyway the two types of love the number one type of love when she says that she is in love inside of love in love it gives the idea or denotes that she's consumed by it She's incited. She has no control over it. She has no will when she's in love. If she's being controlled by it. She's not controlling it. She's inside of it. She's consumed by it. Immersed, baptized in it. Understand that for her, in order to be in love, she first must have and feel an intense attraction for you. This attraction is mainly due by seeing you as somebody, um, seeing you as handsome, masculine, being able to protect and provide for her most of the time. This gives her the feelings of in love. When she deal with Pookie, Pookie Tall, she thinks Pookie is tough, so she can be protected. And the height is a symbolizing of him, his handsomeness. So tall Pookie, although he may not have a whole lot of money, tall Pookie, who is overly masculine, actually pseudo-masculinity, she's in love with him because he's tall. 
and he acts tough. That's all she needs for an intense attraction. She cannot love a man that she doesn't have this intense attraction for. It's not possible. Initial attraction is the only gateway to her feelings of love. And when she says she loves, she actually loves the way you make her feel because you made her feel special. You made her feel wanted. You made her feel loved. You made her feel good and sometimes bad, depending on her particular psychology. When she says she is in love, it's all about her, not you. She's in love with the way you make her feel. Loving you is always about what you give to her and how she relates and benefits from it. She loves the way you love her. She loves the feelings that she feels when she's around you. Let me make this clear. She is in love with a feeling, the feeling not you the feelings you give her not you thus she then tries to project those feelings back at you and understand to her more important than air water more important than anything in the world the most important thing to the female more than anything are her feelings that trumps any and everything water health life everything it's the most important thing have you ever heard a woman say that she has given her all to someone have you ever heard that term I give him my all gave him everything to a particular man, right? Have you ever heard that saying? Now, she can never fully explain what she means by that. In fact, if you ask her, she'll look kind of dumbfounded and she'll try to come up with ways to express it. She doesn't really know what she means. But she's sincere. She really does believe this. Although she can never explain it. It's hard for a woman to explain her feelings because they're just feelings. Feelings don't have words. They're just feelings. Difficult to articulate in any language how someone feels. You can get the general idea, but no specific details. And believe me, brothers, what a woman feels is very detailed, much different from us. But what she means is, when she says she's giving her all, what she means is that she's giving her emotions to you. Remember, her emotions slash feelings are the most important thing in the world to her. That's her all. That's her everything. The total essence of her being is all that she has for nothing else matters. And she has nothing else but feelings. And these feelings to her are so valuable and so precious to her that in her mind, from her perspective, it's the greatest gift she can give. Now, your gifts have to be tangible. Hers is just about a feeling. Doesn't even have to have any expression behind it. But if she feels it, then she believes you should honor it, even if you don't know that she feels such a thing. So her being in love, again, there's two types of love. Her being in love means that she's immersed in the feelings that you have stimulated by her attraction for you. Temporal, Fleeting, circumstantial, doesn't last. She's in a new circumstance of life, a new area in life, job promotion, graduate college, new job, move to a new city, new state. Those feelings may very well 
dissipate. Her love has no substance to it, no power behind it, except temporal feelings. It can be intense for the moment, like a whirlwind, a hurricane even, her feelings. She can have a hurricane of emotions, but as all storms, they do pass. And eventually there is no evidence left that such a storm even happened. And this is what it is when she says she's in love. A temporary setting. Intense, yes. But as real as smoke that you see for a moment and dissipates. In love to her means she's in love with the feeling. Now, the second type of love. You ever heard a woman say, well, I'm not in love with him. I have love for him or I love him, but I'm not in love with him. That statement means that she has either no emotion for the guy or very little emotion. But she loves now again when she just says she loves a guy has love for a guy little emotion but what she actually loves in particular is the tangible benefits associated with you how you take care of her how you spend money but she doesn't have that initial attraction she doesn't have that deep attraction like i mentioned in the term in love she may look at you as a utility you help her take care of her kids. You pay her rent. You buy her things. You provide a service. And she loves that particular service, not you. She loves what you provide, not you. Again, whether it's in love or love. When she expresses how she feels in that manner, it can only be expressed, she can only determine that she can only say such words in relation to what you give her. She is a receiver, not a giver. You give her deep emotions, she in love. You give her gifts, she loves you. And sometimes she can love and be in love with you. But again, it's not specifically you. This can be a number of guys. It's not specific to you. Yeah, I know you think you're funny and you're great and you're handsome and you're tough. I get that. But they make a lot of guys like you. She doesn't see unique differences. And that's one thing you have to understand about female nature. They don't necessarily see specific character traits or specific things about you that set you apart makes you unique those things are unknown to her and not only unknown because she doesn't think that deep she doesn't care what she cares about is what are the tangible benefits to being with you how can you make her feel and what you can do not who you are what you do understand that brothers but when she says she has love for him and not in love with him, again, it's about what you have done. A woman in love will feel emotionally devastated with the thought of losing you. Again, not you in particular, the feelings of loss of that feeling because it's so important she's in love she's wrapped up in that feeling and if you take that feeling away from her she's devastated not you as a person going away you who stimulates the feeling again this is why she can quickly move on and without these deep emotions for you she can easily walk away because there's zero consequence for her because she's not in love. She doesn't have those deep emotion. In fact, women only look at things through the premise or the prism, I should say, of emotional consequence. 
Will she be hurt by this emotionally? Will she be hurt by that emotionally? That's the only consequence in her world. The world in general. The world at large. Puts no sanctions. Puts no punishment on her for her behaviors. Any behavior. At worst. She'll get a slap on her wrist. No behavior of the female in the society is sanctioned. No behavior. And the only consequence she has is emotional. So when she doesn't have deep emotion for a guy, she can easily leave him and on to the next one. Looking for the new emotional high. Another emotional stimulus and stimuli. Plain love when she's not in love means there's no emotional anchor there. And sometimes she could have had the emotional anchor, but lost it. And I guarantee you, if she lost that, the only way she'll stay, if there is some type of financial benefit or if it's a matter of comfort and convenience. But without that deep feeling of love, nine times out of ten, she'll leave. And because she's so duplicitous in her nature, since she suffered from cognitive dissonance, sometimes she can be tied between the two. The man she loves on the left gives her that deep emotion. And the guy on the right who provides for her. In love with the poor guy, but loves the guy who have or who has resources. Not necessarily rich. I mean, every man is not rich. So she got the guy on one side who either can't or does not want to provide resources for her, doesn't want to wife her up. And then on the other hand, she got the guy that wants to wife her up and give her resources. And most of the time she's going to go with the resource guy. But here's how it plays out. She'll marry the resource guy. Claim she loves him. But she will often go off and deal with the non-resource guy, the guy that she's in love with. She'll try to have the best of both worlds. And claim it's not her fault because she is in love. She can't help herself. She needs the resources, but she also needs the feelings as well. She'll try to have both. But since her love is not necessarily about you, in particular, she can move on even if she does have that emotional anchor. Sounds confusing? Yeah. Such is the creature that we're talking about. Understand that. For her, being in love is 40% her physical attraction to you. And 60% the emotions that you are able to give her in the area of romance and you give her these emotions by your worship flowers, cards, candies, attention letters again she's a receiver 40% her attraction 60% how you make her feel if she feels adored and worshipped then that would intensify not only her attraction but her being in love but when she's not in love, this plain old love without the end is dry. Devoid of passion and joy. Again, then the relationship then after that is about comfort and convenience, not about her heart and her soul. Now, if you take the comfort and convenience out, although she may not have the in love, I guarantee you she will go. She says, I love him or I have love for him. But no longer or not necessarily ever being in love. Nine times out of ten, the man involved is totally oblivious to this. She's with a guy. She says she loves him. He mistakes that for her being in love. and She may even lie about it for the resources, of course, for the comfort and convenience, of course. And many times. But blue pillars are unaware. But many times the signs are there that she does not love you. 
or we should say is not in love with you. The signs are there. But us men, due to our pride and huge ego, we ignore those signs. Let me ask you a question. Is your woman, your girlfriend, is your wife in love with you? Is she? That's the question. Now, her deep emotion slash in love can change for a variety of reasons. Understand that her love depends on whatever emotional space she's in at the time. Her emotional space is tied to whatever circumstance she's in at the time. Wherever she's at mentally at the present. And yes, it is safe to say that her love is often circumstantial. For example, if she's young and likes to party and date different guys, she may fall for a guy that's more aloof, which is the opposite of the guys that's chasing her. At that point in her life, she wants a challenge and is challenged by the guy who isn't chasing her like the others. At another point in her life, such as when she's like, uh, let's say 35 to 40, or if she's now an empty nester, meaning that her children are now adults, she may desire a clingy guy so that she can feel secure due to her feelings of loneliness. Again, circumstantial. Her being in love is all about where she's at at the moment. You talk to a woman and you ask her, hey, that guy was terrible. Why did you date him? Why were you with him for so long? Why were you in a relationship with him for two years? Why you do that, girl? As her friends would say. And she would say, well, I was just in a space at that time. And her girlfriend would say, yeah, girl, I understand. It's all about the circumstance, the feelings at the time. And it's amazing that we're so fickle a creature that us men, we sacrifice so much. You're dating a woman for a year or two, even six months. You'll give your very life for her, won't you? You give her very life. You'll protect her with your own life. But the way she feels is only circumstantial. Only temporal weak and technically from our perspective from comparison or I'm sorry comparisons with the way we feel or with the way we love her love is actually non-existent but that's for another video for her love is a mystical thing she doesn't know exactly why she loves it's a, a mystical thing a mystery even and she doesn't understand it. She doesn't know why she feels the way she feels because, well, it's a feeling. It just happened. She can't explain it. She can't deduce these things because it's the way she feels. Doesn't necessarily have any substance behind it. And even many times, it's very superficial. Very superficial. You notice they never, right? She never talks about character. She's not in love with his character. That's non-existent. His looks and how she makes him feel. Or how he makes her feel, I'm sorry. Nothing about character. No substance behind it. Unlike you as a man, when you love, it's due to some endearing quality that you see in her is due to a choice that you made to love her. Your love is stable and constant, won't change, unconditional, unmovable. But hers, her love, when she says she loves you, her love is unstable like the waves of the sea. I had a realization recently, a few months ago, 
pondering the idea of love. And I had this realization that although a woman may love you, which means she may have this deep emotion, although a woman, woman may be in love with you, she may have these deep emotions for you, right? She can still have a deep disdain for you, although she feels love for you at the same time. Sounds like a contradiction, I know, but such is the creature we're dealing with. She can hold a great disdain for you and also deep emotion for you. And listen, just because she loves you or is in love with you, that does not mean, it does not mean that she loves loving you. When a woman loves loving you, is far different. That's the only thing that's stable. In other words, her deep emotion that she has, that she can't explain, she don't understand where they come from, it just happened. In her mind, you may be the wrong guy, but she feels this way anyway. And eventually she'll seek to get out of that situation. That's not enduring love. Or you may be the guy that provides the comfort and convenience, the finances, and she has love for you. And she can stay because of that. But if she meets someone else who has a better uh, quality of life that he can offer her, she's gone. But when she loves loving you, in other words, she loves the fact that she is able to love you as an individual. That's a far different cry. I'll give you an example. A woman can be married to a man, have his children, could have been together for a very long time. But she wishes, secretly now, that he was a different man, maybe taller, maybe more financially established, maybe a guy that's more attractive. So she doesn't actually love loving you, although she has these emotions, she wishes you were someone else. I know it doesn't sound right, but this is her mind. I've observed and examined the minds of the female. I am a student of female nature. And this is what goes on in her head. I'm a scientist. I can observe these things directly and indirectly. And when she doesn't love loving you, it just simply won't last. And sometimes when a woman is in love, the reason why she stays around, I mentioned this before, is because she's trying to avoid the emotional pain that may be caused by her leaving. So she stays out of fear of being hurt because she has deep emotions for you. She doesn't really like you. She doesn't understand why she feels the way she feels. She really doesn't want to be with you. She's in love, but wish she had a better man, a better deal, better circumstance, but she won't leave because she's afraid of the pain that it would cause to leave. She calls this weakness. Her friends understand it. She calls it weakness. She says to herself, as soon as I'm strong enough, I'm going to leave him. But in order to complete this process, she has to have a new man that can create a new emotional high for her. This will give her the strength that she's looking for in order to leave. To leave for a new man. And most of the time, she can only love a man for about five years max. And then her feelings will change almost overnight. This has just been my observation. It's not an exact science, though. So these feelings can change almost overnight. She can easily go on in her mind and love another man almost immediately. Because usually those endorphins, that euphoria, wears off. And then on to the next one. Break up with this guy and get with that guy. Rinse and repeat. Repeat the cycle 
many times in her lifetime. From this guy to that guy. Hence, the 40-year-old single woman on your favorite dating site saying she's looking for a good man. 40 years old on a dating site, which means she has a 100% failure rate in her relationship. Her relationships, I should say. 100% failure rate. Started dating probably in high school. Now she's in her 40s. Over 20 years of complete failure. But you believe, Simpity Simp, that it's going to be different this time. You're the 47th guy. It's going to be different with you. <laughs> man, you got to laugh at these simps, man. Got to laugh at these simps. So now she's on the dating site looking for the new man. Again, for her, love is all about her current emotional state and place that she's in at the time. Thus, her love changes with each new circumstance. Listen here. When she says she loves you, she's actually telling the truth. It's exactly how she feels today, at this hour, at this very minute. But it might not be how she feels tomorrow or next week. She isn't lying to you. She really feels that way at the moment. Two hours from now, it might be different. Two years, it may be different. Those feelings may be gone. Bringing this to a close. When thinking about her love, we understand that love for her holds no honor, no integrity or longevity. It's forever adapting Adapting and changing. Adapting to room temperature as water does. Forever changing like the seasons. Her love is often is just as unstable and chaotic as her very mind. Her heart knows no rest due to the constant changes in it. There is no true love in her for what is true, stable, strong, and everlasting is true love. Not what's shaky, weak, and circumstantial, such as the way she feels. Understand that your true love will never be returned as a man when it comes to your woman in no redeemable way the creature is incapable of a true godly attribute such as love she's incapable of such a thing lucky or unlucky for us depending on your perspective we as men can love without receiving anything in return this can be our weakness, but it's why we love them. And we don't realize that it's not necessary for her to love us, nor does she love us. And for her, that's her strength. Her strength lies in being able to not give you that godly portion, that true portion that the most high can only give. In fact, for us men, that's the true love. The love of the Most High. But she can't love you. Circumstantial, temporal, but yours, unconditional. Again, that's the love of the Most High Himself. Unconditional love. Amazing. So be aware of such a creature. 
what she means when she says that she is in love versus what she means when she says she has love or she loves. Two different things. But just be mindful that she's telling the truth. It's how she feels, but feelings appear and disappear and even reappear. Like the video, subscribe to the channel, hit that notification button so that you will not miss a Black Ram 313 video. Second channel is called Black Ram for Vengeance. Link will be in the description box. I have a Patreon page. If you'd like to check that out, see what's going on. Link to the Patreon page will be in the description box as well. And last but not least, if you'd like to donate, a link to the PayPal account is also in the description box. And until next time, stay well and red pill. Black Ram 313. And I'm out.